Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Um, my little chickadees, I should say. A vision, a vision, a vision, because I am sat outside Lidl, which of course is German. Um, no, a vision is goodbye, isn't it? So it should be Guten. Hang on a minute, Guten. Guten evening. It's not Guten Abend. It's Guten. I don't know what it. It's not Guten Nacht because that would be good. But I don't know. I've no idea. I don't care. Um. Hello. How are you? Um. So yeah, I haven't got home from training yet, but um, I think it worked better. Likewise, at least we got a full session. Uh, in today. So well done to those that attended. Um. As I mentioned to those of you that were there tonight, I have to be quite honest, certainly for half a season, maybe even longer, my gut feeling is that it might be all season. I don't think we're going to be training indoors. I think we will be, it, winter training will be outdoors. It will be outdoors under floodlights. Um, and I say, I really can't see that training because. Um, it just doesn't work with the numbers we have and you know with things as they are at the moment with with the slight increases and and just to re-emphasize re the point that i made earlier and i don't say it to worry you i say i tell you it just so that it's always a good reminder for us all and just to you know, to remind us to that when we're away from football, you know, we distance, we wear our face coverings, we clean our hands and what have you. Um, that um, two coaches I know now, um, both uh, both who have, I've, I've worked with in the past, but uh, I don't know, I haven't worked with them in recent weeks, but anyway, two of them, either their relative, their brother, in one case, or the wife in another case have tested positive for COVID. So uh, they're, they're down here, they're, you know, um, one of them I, I work with at Longford. Um, so, and also um, our kit supplier has also had somebody who, who has tested positive. Um, so why am I telling you that? As I say, it is just a reminder that um, we, we've just got to keep doing what we're doing make it safe at training when you're away from training take the usual precautions plenty of hand washing you know you know the rules space face um, and hands so um, um, procedures um, so for the two coaches um, they now have to quarantine for two weeks um, so obviously no coaching, um, they almost certainly, excuse me, they almost certainly won't be, be at work. Um, I say it's standard procedures, there are FA guidelines as well on what you, what you do when you, uh, if you've been in contact with somebody who tests positive. So you know every training session I read out a list to you and, <clears throat> and the bottom one is, and the one that I always say is crucial to you. <clears throat> not the one about whether you can smell bacon it's about have you been in contact with somebody who has suspected or confirmed covid and that is the key one because it's so virulent that uh that um and that's why it obviously spreads so easily so um so yeah and for the kit suppliers that happened at um, at their workplace, so they've now got to have a deep clean. They now can't, you know, they won't be seeing customers now for, um, you know, probably a couple of weeks as well. So, um, I say it really is just um, a reminder for us just to, you know, keep doing what we're doing and be safe. That's all. So, um, I will give you your jokes to yours when I get home. I'm going to toot off now. So, be safe for now. Very pertinent, given what I've just said, and um, I will speak to you shortly. So, Jacques, this is yours.
did you hear about the hungry clock? Clock. Uh, he kept going back for seconds. <laughs> seconds, because he was a clock. Uh, what musical in instrument can you find in the bathroom? A tuba toothpaste. A tuba. <laughs> Be safe.